Hi everyone, I'm back today with an update from my project Campion. We're now four weeks in and I have quite a bit of progress I can tell you about and I'm very excited. I'm going to start with um, what I had finished up with my last progress two weeks in. And these were the items. So, first up I had these two eyeshadows. Oh, pardon me. Of these two eyeshadows that I had finished. This was Max Patina, this was Catrice. Oops, new did it again. I had finished those within the first two weeks. Then I had finished these these six perfume samples. I had also finished my lipstick. This was um Maybelline. 545 Dark Rosewood. I had finished this Manhattan Eye Amazing Liner Precise Other Pen in 69U Brown Toffee. And I had finished the sachet of body lotion. It was Aura by Swarovski. That being said, I finished a few more items these past few weeks. This started with the perfume samples. These are these are four more perfume samples that I have finished. Then, I had already mentioned this last time, my Maybelline cover stick in 21 Fair Natural. I dug in even more now. Not sure if you can see this. There's an even bigger dent in it. This is done, really. I, I said that last time already. I was still digging out even today. I can reach down my fingernails. Um, however, I need to cut them, so I might not reach anywhere anymore. So. This is still done. And then I finished my Kadri Slip Gloss. This was um, from the Enter Wonderland limited edition. It's called Alice's Hatter. It was a nice orange shade. And as you can see, there's not much in there. There's nothing in there, actually. It's not a complete application anymore. I even went all the way and opened up the... Took the stopper out. This is done. And then I finished up this body lotion. I even took the cap, cut it open. This was Flora by Gucci. So the last item I finished up or that I declared finish is my nemesis. This is the Manhattan Eye Amazing Liner Precise Eyeliner Pen. However, this is not the brown one, which I really liked. This is um, 8070 Queen of Green and I told this a couple times already. It stains. Not just a little bit, it stains badly. And I tried using it those last two weeks, used it as much as I could. In fact, the first week I used it every single day. However, then the tip dried out. And with the dry tip, this does not give me a real pointy beginning for my eyeliner. So I tried, I tried the last few days. I have this in my makeup basket for the upcoming two weeks actually, or for last week and the upcoming week, in fact. and. Yeah, yeah, let's just stay with the yeah. air. This is done, not gonna use it anymore. Now, I have a few items left. For one, I have this left. This is my Maybelline Pure Powder Matte Finish in 21 Natural Beige. I still like the product itself, however, at the moment, it just doesn't work, especially since I repressed it. There you go, maybe you can see that. Since I've repressed it, uh, the issue is that I get too much product off when I dip, when I just lightly dip my brush in, and it applies patchy on my skin. This means I either have blotches or it just it just makes my entire foundation way too dark. Right now, I'm using a few BB cream samples, and this morning when I put on my makeup on. Um, I looked like I was about five shades darker than I actually am, and that was my face only. I tried putting on a different uh, powder on top to just make it look a little bit better, but I don't know. Just hoping that just because I ditched the Queen of Green eyeliner doesn't mean that this is now my new nemesis. Because in general I like the product, it's just that... 
I knew the color was a tad bit too dark. I did not think it would make give me that big of trouble when using it. So I'll work on it. In fact, since repressing it, I still have a little bit of Japan showing. So yeah, that's that. Then I had repressed my blush. Next up, I had repressed my blush and um, this is what I posted on Instagram. These are the two pictures. The top one is before I pressed it, when it just cracked up. The bottom is right after repressing it. And now, this is what I have left. There is not much left in there. I thought actually after applying it today, I should probably be done. I have one very, very light application left or half of an application. So this will be done after tomorrow morning, I guess. I'm excited. I like the color. I have a slightly different color. These blushes are very nice, actually. So I'm glad I had that one and used it up. Then I have, if you, if you count it, um, I finished up 10 of my perfume samples. And last time I had finished up four and I added six more to the whole thing. Now, I have these five left. This is Alien by Thierry Mugler. Uh, there's one Aqua di Gioia, I believe that was from the beginning. There's one of the Biotherm Oceanic samples left. Then the Burberry Body. Lancome La Vie est Belle. And the uh, Victoria's Secret Bombshell. So these are the five samples I have left. And the last item is exciting for me. My MAC Paint Pot Painterly. Now you already know that it's not done yet. However, when I did the last update two weeks ago, I said that the past couple days I did not see any result in the, or anything like getting less. Now, this is what I have left. If you can see that, there is not much left in there. I think it might be a week's worth of applications actually, because this just, it, ta it takes quite a little product for my eyelids. Now, now, there's not much left. I think I should be done by the next update with this. I hope. But going strong and I'm very happy. This will be the first paint pot and the first cream I should have ever used up. So that's quite something. And I have a few more left, which you may see soon. Now, this is it. This is it for my Project Hand Pan update after four weeks. I am very happy actually about my progress. If I look at that small, small bundle of products I have left, it's like really only these, four, these few items. I'm glad about that. I'll be able to use these up, I think. The powder might be the one that just takes longest. Or maybe the powder and the paint pot together, I'm not sure. Powder in general just takes quite a while. And this, it seems like so much. And like I said, I have to be very careful with applying it. But I'm very happy about doing this project in PM. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Please leave comments or suggestions down below. If you have any ideas how I can make the powder work, for example, that would be amazing because I'm using a very soft powder blush or powder brush already, so I don't know. I'm a little bit at a loss here because after this morning, I'm really scared of tomorrow morning when I actually have to go out with the way I look. Now, this was it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time. Bye!